Well, praise the Lord. God bless you. We are live. We're live. Is there anyone there on the conference line tonight? Not yet. No one's on the conference line yet. All okay. right. What time is it? 56.58. God bless you. Bless you. Amen. Amen. We're live. We are live. God bless you, those of you that are coming in tonight. We thank God for you. We see you coming yep. in live on the Facebook, on Facebook tonight. We want to encourage those of you that are coming in live to tag and to share. Uh, invite a friend to come in with you tonight and view our uh, Wednesday night telecast, our Powerful Word Wednesday. And we thank God for those of you that are watching. We praise God for you. Uh, it looks like I see Co-Pastor Brenda Jones. God bless you, uh, Co-Pastor Jones, watching us tonight. Bless we you, thank God for you. We're going to invite those of you that are watching to tag and share. Tag and share. Uh, let you, someone know that uh, Bishop HL and, Pastor, and uh, Laura. Pastor Laura, that we are live on Facebook tonight. And we are on the conference line, bringing you greetings tonight in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. And I tell you, Pastor, I'm excited. Excited. I'm excited to be here tonight. Uh, we haven't been on in about three weeks. Been longer than that for me. Has it been longer for you? <laughs> yes. Right. Well, but it's good to be back. It's good, good to have to you be back. back. So we know for the last three weeks, uh, the last three weeks, Pastor and I have not been on. And uh, we're just so glad to be back. Yes, and I, I do want to say this before we get any further into the broadcast tonight. Uh, we thank God for um, uh, those ministers of our church that carried on while we were uh, absolutely. while we were absent. Absolutely. We want to just say thank you tonight to... Uh, to Elder Cohen, Thesha Cohen, and yes. uh, we want to thank you, Elder Assistant Pastor and Lady Gaylord, yes. Assistant Pastor Guy and Lady Gaylord, thank you so much, and then to Elder Sybil Glenn for carrying thank you. on thank in our you. absence. I'm telling you, you all did a phenomenal job, absolutely, and we are just so thankful for you carrying on in our absence. Well, you know what tonight is. Tonight is PWW Powerful Powerful, Word, Powerful Wednesday. Word Wednesday, and it's another opportunity for us to share with you uh, from the Word of God. I'm so glad to see all of you that are tuning in tonight. Do me a favor, pick up the phone, uh, call somebody, and let them know that Bishop HL and uh, Pastor Laura are live on Facebook yes. tonight. And we are live on the conference and line. On Facebook, tag and share. Tag and share. Tag and share. Amen. So many of you share it every week. Every week. Keep yes. sharing. Keep sharing. Amen. We're glad to be here tonight. Pastor, before we get into our lesson tonight, we have some individuals on our prayer list uh, that we're praying for tonight. Do you want to uh, share those names with us? Yes. Tonight we're praying for uh, Pastor Laura Butts, Mother Janie Petway. Bessie Simmons, Mother Louise Simmons, Crystal Jones, we're praying for her. Yes. She yes. is the sister of our own elder, Don Melton, and we want you to, really, we need you to pray for Crystal Jones. Aisha Griffin, Marvin and Karen Harris, Naomi Bolin, Kalina Patterson in St. John, we're praying for you. Renee Rogers, baby Elena, who is also in the hospital. Janine Evans, Daniel Gardner, Man. Angela Glenn, Sabrina Thomas, Teresa Wade, Christian Taylor, Joanne Conlin, The Rogan Family, Marquita Sylvia, Cal Calvin Dean, The Hall Family, Mother Hudson and Family, The Fuller, Richardson and Snowden Family, mm -hmm. and the family of Cora Davis. We're praying for uh, Mother Jackson's niece and nephew, Edna Mae Watson, and her husband, Mr. Watson. Mother Pinkins and family, we're praying for you, Mother Pinkins, yes. at the loss of your son. Yes, we're sending out prayers there in yes. Columbus, Mother. Be strengthened. 
We're praying for the family of Sheila Norman. Sheila Norman uh, passed this week. She is the cousin of our own Yolanda Terry, and we're praying for you, uh, Sister Yolanda, the, and the yes. McKeever family. Be strengthened. Yeah, Sister Johnny Graham, and all of those that are afflicted, not only with the COVID, but with all of the things that are going on, we're praying for every, everybody, everything that you're dealing with. Because we serve a God that can heal you everywhere you hurt. Everywhere. There's nothing that God cannot do. Well, listen, Pastor, let's pray. Let's, let's, uh, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, yes. let's go before the Lord, go before his throne with these names and these, these individuals that are dealing with afflictions tonight. We are believing God for yes, complete healing in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Father, in your name, we come before you tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As as we know how to give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. Yes. God, we thank you for one more day, one more day to give you praise. And for that, we say thanks. Thank you, Lord. We come on behalf of every name that is on this prayer list. Even those, oh God, we know Hallelujah. that you're able to do it. No other power can Hallelujah. do. Hallelujah. Pray for everyone that is on this list right now, knowing that you are a prayer answering God. Yes, Lord. We know, God, that not only will you hear, but you answer prayers. And we're calling on your name because there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must, must be saved. Be, and that be, name is Jesus. Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. There's power in your in name. The name. There's healing Jesus. in your name. There's deliverance in your name, in your God. Name, Open up the gates of heaven, God, and pour down blessings now. Let your healing virtue flow Thank you. in every life now. We know you're able to do what no other power can do. Oh, and before God. we take it back, oh, God, we'll add more to it. And oh, we God. thank you for it tonight. Huh? In you Jesus' name, name we pray. Amen. 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 I tell you, I tell you, I know Glory. that you feel the anointing from that prayer tonight. Glory to your name, Jesus. pastor have prayed. And I'm telling you, I want to say to you, like I say every Wednesday night, look to the hills. Yes, come on. I want everybody that's watching, I don't care what you're dealing with, look to the hills tonight. To the hills. And when come with your help, listen to me. All of your help. All. In every area of your life, no matter what you're dealing with, remember that all of your help cometh from the Lord. Yes. It cometh down from the Lord. The scripture said it cometh down from the Father of lights. Yes. And yes. I want you to look up tonight. Look up and know that God is in control. We're going to the word of the Lord tonight, Pastor. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm, you know what? We want to remind you um, that every Sunday at 11, yes. we're on Facebook. We're on the conference line. And, and tune in because um, real soon we're going to be on YouTube. Yes. So it will be Facebook, yes. YouTube, and the conference line. Yes. You'll be able to watch us from anywhere. That's going to be exciting. Uh, oh, so exciting. We're excited about Absolutely. going on YouTube. But that's coming real soon. Real soon. Also, I want to say this. On the third Sunday of February, don't forget, we're going to be celebrating Black History Month. All right. So make sure you tune us in. We're going to make sure we put on our African attire. Okay. And uh, we're going to have a, a speaker. Uh, one of the young people, a people of our church is going to come. And do a, a reading uh, about some uh, African Americans that have contributed uh, greatly to society. So, yes, yes. third Sunday, the third Sunday of this month, be sure that you tune us in. All right, you ready to go to the Sounds word tonight? Good. Well, then every Wednesday, look, I'm trying to go back to the announcements. Every Wednesday at 7, we're here at Facebook. Um, again, we'll be on YouTube real soon and the conference line every Thursday night. With our host, Lady Cynthia, women from all over the country, literally, we're on at 7 every Thursday night for our uh, uh, power, praise, and prayer. I'm telling you, testimonies and the word that have been coming forth. So tune in with us tomorrow night on the conference line at 7. Amen. Um, those are the announcements. Amen. Coming announcements. Get your Bible. Get your pen. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's dive into the word of God on tonight. Um. We're dealing tonight with a subject I think that's kind of sensitive to our hearts uh, tonight because uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, for those of you that don't know, Sister Butts and I have gone through a, a challenge. It's been a, a, a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, a month ago, uh, Pastor, um, you had a fall. For those of you that don't know. I know a lot of you know that Sister Butts have been sick, but some of you may not have known. And and we we want to say thank you too. 
Thank you to, to everyone that, that called, that yeah. text, uh, that stopped sent by, flowers, that sent something, that sent an encouragement, encouraging word. Um, we have several edible arrangements, and that fruit was so good. Flowers, <laughs> flowers. You, you all shower with love. Name it. It's, it's just unbelievable. I mean, people from literally all over. People in, uh, from out of town, individuals everywhere. Brought, individuals yeah. brought water to to the house. And to, look, Sister I called Dawn them. Dawn Smith. I have uh, three personal nurses. I called <laughs> them and told them what I needed. And I'm telling you, they had. Uh, they brought it to the house. Had it shipped. I'm, it, it, it's just, it was it, wonderful. It, it was just um, it's amazing, and people are still saying, "What do you need?" What? Listen, if anybody asks you what I need, I like water. I love ice mountain water because I'm on a water kick now. I have to drink a lot of water. So, but, so um, we said all that to say this: that yes. a month ago, Pastor, you mm -hmm. had a fall. I had a fall on some black ice. On some ice, mm -hmm. we were there picking up our our, do our daughter, our goddaughter, uh, from her grandmother's house, and you. I think we talked about it on the broadcast uh, a while back, when it, right after it happened, because mm -hmm. I think I was making light of the fact that I was sitting in the car waiting for you and looking around after you came out of the house and then I didn't see you. And then the next thing I know, I saw you scrambling up, getting up on, mm -hmm. coming up on the side of the car. Mm -hmm. And little did we know that that fall on that ice would have had such an impact on you physically. Absolutely. And I want you to just kind of share your testimony and share with our audience, you know, what, what you've been dealing with, what we've been dealing mm -hmm. with uh, these past uh, couple of weeks as far as your, your health is concerned. Well, as Bishop has said, I had a fall. It was actually the first Sunday of January. And I literally went a whole week uh, and a few days with no pain, I'm just, you know, not thinking anything about it. I was like, ooh, it fell and got up. And then um, a little over a week later, I got uh, start painting. I could barely sit. I could barely lay. It was just very difficult. And um, that Friday, January the 14th, I just couldn't take the pain anymore. As a matter of fact, the last time... I was on here. I've had uh, several people to say you look like something mm -hmm. was wrong, mm -hmm. you were and I was pain. I was in a lot of I was in that, a lot of pain evening. that mm -hmm. evening. And that Friday, I went to emergency, and um, just when just I got just there, for the a checkup to well, yeah, to I just wanted thing. to make sure see what uh -huh. was going on because so, I was in pain. So they could do an X ray and make right. sure that nothing said, well, was do injured a or anything. Scan and mm -hmm. you know an MRI and see what was going on. And from the minute that I walked in the hospital, within four hours, I was in surgery. Mm -hmm. They had to do emergency surgery. I had a, a gigantic blood clot um, that was going on. And so um, I went into surgery. And from that incident, from that incident, mm -hmm. when I got into my room, when they admitted me, when I got into the room, they came in and... Um, Anybody know anything about sugar? My sugar was over 500. Mm. And that was a, a coma. Com those are coma numbers. Yeah. Um, uh, and you, Pastor, I think we need to say this. When you fell, the reason that you clouded it because, it because of your sugar was yeah, so and high. I didn't and realize, you didn't realize it. I didn't even realize it. Uh -huh. um, they had uh, uh, diagnosed me with pre-diabetes and you know we're trying to get through that but I had no idea that it was as bad as it was and even in the midst of everything I still give God thanks because even though I failed they really found what was wrong which was sugar and they said that I you know they the doctor's report says that I'm a diabetic that's what the report said. It was it was looking it, it, it was, was looking a little bad it for was, us. The doctors was. came back, gave us that you that know, negative yeah, report. Report and and, and um, you know while I was in the hospital, uh, you know they were picking my finger. They were giving me insulin in the hospital, and even when they sent me home, um, you know they sent me home with the insulin. And so they said we're going to do this temporarily, you know, until we can get a control. And so that's where I am now. You know, I'm I'm I'm, con I'm trying to get it under control yes. and doing what I need to do. And I'm eating, change my diet, and you know, uh, working on my weight and doing everything that I need to do. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. now I feel like shouting. I believe the report of the Lord. Yes. Now, some people you may settle with whatever the diagnosis is. I refuse to settle. 
Now the doctor said diabetes. I said I'm healed. Amen. I'm not. I will not. And I'm not going to suffer with diabetes the rest of my life. I'm telling you in a very short time. Thank you, oh, we're going to have to teach this lesson because I feel good. In a very short yes, time, Lord. I believe that God is going to work a miracle in my life. And if in you're out body. there, what in my body, whatever it is that you're dealing with in your body. If you believe God for a miracle with me, God is working your life. Mm. Don't you dare underestimate the power of God. So, so, so you know what? Mm. Oh my God. You, I feel the power of I feel the anointing Hallelujah. of God already. Hallelujah. And the Lord just put Jesus. it, I guess he dropped it in my spirit tonight to talk about this. You know, healing... You all listen to me good. Healing and being well, I should say. Mm -hmm. Healing and being well, that's a part of our uh, our birthright as believers. Come on now. That's a promise. That's one of the promises that we have as believers that God is our healer, that he, he desires for us to be healed. Yes, he desires yes, he for desires. us to be well. Yes, he does. You know, that's our portion. Yes. Healing is our portion as yes, believers. It yes, it is. God, God doesn't take any pleasure in us being sick. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't take pleasure in us being afflicted. That's he right. doesn't take pleasure in us having uh, health challenges. But God wants us to be he well. Wants us to be he wants well. us to be healed. And and I'm, I'm dealing with this tonight because of the situation. And, and let me say this before I go any further. But this is her first Wednesday back with us. And I, t I want to tell you this. You're looking real good tonight, sweetie. Oh, <laughs> you're looking thank real you, good. Bishop. You don't look like you've been I, I, sick. I, I, at I did all. go to church Sunday and I sat on the pew. And I want you all to know it took everything in me to not get up and shout. I had to grab a hold to the back of the pew because I knew I couldn't get up and shout. But I'm telling you, the anointing was in the place. And you know what? Even during this time, I mean, not not. I know we're gonna get to the scriptures. Even during this time, my mother was cooking for us. I love my mother, yes, Mother yeah. Dolores Morak, and she she was cooking what she knew um, I needed to eat. And my brother-in-law, uh, 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 brother Allen Butts. He would text me almost every morning with a scripture mm -hmm. or a song, something mm -hmm. that I could listen to and meditate. And so many others, so many others were just praying and praying and praying. And we're saying that to say that when you're sick, you need people around you that are positive. I don't need anybody around me saying, girl, you're going to be on that insulin till you die. You're going to be, no, I need somebody to say, because I know what God promised me. And you need to know what God promised you. He promised me a wealthy place and I don't want to have everything and I cannot utilize it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, okay, go ahead. Cause I'm, I'm well, <laughs> listen, you, you, you own it. You're going to take me, you're going to take you me. You own it tonight, but I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this in, in the, in, in the time that we're living, with everything that Ooh, we see going Jesus. on in our world God, today. I mean, listen, Ooh. you talk about walking through the valley of the shadow of yes, death. Yes, There's yes. so many people that are sick and that are dealing with all types of ailments and mm -hmm. afflictions and diseases. And, and the death rates are high. And, and, and it's just like this... Uh, a, a spirit of sickness mm -hmm. is sweeping our land and our world. But in the midst of all of that, I in want you to know those of you that are believers, those of you that are believers mm -hmm. that know Christ, those of you that are born again, Ooh. I want you to know that healing is your portion. It is. It's it your, is portion. your portion. And God yeah. desires for you to be well. He doesn't That's desire right. for you to be sick. That's right. And you know what? When, when you have people around you that are positive, my aunt prophetess Joyce had, and she was sending me, texting me all the time. She was calling me. She was calling everybody, people all over the world. My cousin Dietrich had not called and said, the prayer warriors are on. But I want you to know something about your bishop. Because bishop had to change my dressing uh, once or twice a day. And I kind of felt a little embarrassed at times. And he said, what you embarrassed for? Embarrassed he know. began to quote the vows from our wedding. He said, in, in, in sickness and in health. When he said that, I could have jumped off that bed and shouted. <laughs> this man has done everything. Words. When I tell you he, was, he is the best husband, he has taken care of me very well. And that's, you know, when you have somebody that loves you and is willing to, regardless of what the situation is, will be there for you to do, look. 
Well, I, I when I'm this, good and well, I'm wanna, taking you on a vacation. I want to say this. <laughs> I want to say this because when when you came from the hospital, it was those, bad. those first uh, couple of days, it was yeah. It, you know, it, it, the the wound. They literally sent her home. You don't mind me. Just the open wound. It was, it was just, yeah, yeah, they was literally open, sent her home open, with an open wound. And for any of you that know anything about diabetes, when you have diabetes, you don't heal as fast. And, you know, it, to me, Pastor, it looked like you weren't healing well. And that wound was just, you know, you could tell that it was draining the mm -hmm. infection out of your body. And there were days that I literally that I literally changed the dressings and, and went in the room. I didn't want you to see me. Mm. But I had to go to the room. Thank you, Jesus. But I kept on praying. Hallelujah. I'm telling you tonight, I don't care how bad things look. You look up. Hallelujah. You look up. Because God is a healer. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. And I'm telling you, watch this. I'm telling you, I kept changing that dressing and changing that dressing and every day. When I would change that dressing, she didn't know it, but I would be praying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> while I was changing the dressing. And oh, literally shana. I saw I saw the matter of days I began to see that wound close up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, yes. And went to the wound doctor on Friday and she is amazed. God is a healer. It was three weeks yes, on this past is. Friday. Um uh three weeks was uh, since the surgery, and she is totally amazed. And how the wound is healing. She said, this is unbelievable. Nobody I've never seen God. a wound heal this quickly. Nobody she but said, God. You know, especially with the, with the diabetes. She said, it is closing, it's closing, it's closing. Yes, I please. serve a miracle working God. It better close with the God <laughs> that I serve. It better heal. I'm telling you, with the God that I serve, I remember turning. I was in a bed one day. I turned my face to the wall. And I told God, I said, God, do you remember when? And I ran down everything that I could run down to him. And I felt a, a something in my spirit. Mm. I'm trying to help somebody else that's been dealing with something longer than I have. Yes. I don't care how long you've been dealing with it. God is a healer. And he is going to do it if you believe. It's, my it's, faith is so great. It's unreal. It's your portion. Ah, uh, healing, healing what, is our portion as a believer. Evangelist Salithia. She said healing is the children's bread. It's the children's bread. Healing. Look at look at Isaiah 53, Pastor. Let's go there. My God. And I'm, I want you want you to be encouraged tonight that God is in the healing business. I don't care what you're dealing with. I don't care what kind of sickness they have diagnosed you with. God is still able. You don't have to accept being sick. You don't have to accept not being well. Mm. Praise God. I want you to be healed, be set free, and be delivered. Look at Isaiah 53. Very familiar passage of scripture. What does that say, Pastor? Read that. 53, 4. 53, 4 and 5. Mm -hmm. It says, surely mm -hmm. he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Oh, God. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But listen, read. <laughs> what does he but say? But he was wounded. But he was what? I feel a shout. Wounded. Uh, uh, somebody, somebody right now ought to just type that in. Somebody that's sick, you ought to just type in right now. I'm healed. Yes, yes. He was wounded. He was wounded for our transgression. For our transgression, our sins. <laughs> yes. Our faults, our yes. hangups, our bad habits. He was wounded for our for transgression. our transgression. He was what? Bruised for our iniquity. He was bruised for our hidden sins, the stuff that Ooh. nobody knew about. He was wounded. And then he was bruised. What? Yes. Read on. The chastisement of our peace was upon the him. The chastisement of our peace. Mm -hmm. For us to receive peace. Amen. It, it had to come because of the stripes that were on him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what else it said? And with his stripes. Hallelujah. We are healed. With his stripes. So the stripes that he took then is healing for me right now. Mm -hmm. Healing for you. For you. You and you. I this love is that. serious. I oh love my that. God. I love that. You know, we just we are just here tonight. I, I feel it. I'm here tonight on an assignment just to encourage. Come on, come on. Somebody that God is a healer. Yes. And I'm telling you, I see Sister LeJuke, uh, yeah. uh, uh Josie's watching tonight. I need somebody that's sick in your body tonight. Whatever it is you're dealing with, 
I want you to declare that I'm healed. Mm. I want you to type that in. I want you to declare it because I'm going to declare yes. it with yes. you tonight. Yes. That I am healed. Listen, Pastor, we're taking authority over sickness yes, tonight. Yes, we are. I'm taking authority tonight over diabetes. Yes. I'm taking authority in the name of Jesus tonight over high blood pressure. Come on. I'm taking authority in the name of Jesus tonight over cancer. Yes. I'm taking authority in the name of Jesus tonight over every sickness yes. and illness Congested heart that you're failure. dealing with. I, I'm telling we you, bind cancer. It. We bind it tonight. Doubt, you name it. Migraine. In, in, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God is a healer. Go to Exodus chapter 15. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm Exodus, not playing with the devil. Exodus chapter 15. I want you to see this. Look with me at verses 26. Read what does verse 26 say, Pastor? And said, if thou wilt diligently. Now, now listen, this is God talking to, to Moses and the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. He's giving them a mandate. Listen at what he says to them here. Read. I done got cut off. If thou would diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken to the voice of the Lord your mm -hmm. God. Uh -huh. And would do that which is right in his sight. Listen, listen. Do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Read on. And will give ear to his commandments. Listen to the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Do what he said do. Live the way he wants you to live. What did he say he'll do? And keep all his statutes. Keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee. God told Moses and the children of <laughs> Israel, he said, if you do what I tell you to do, that's a word for you tonight. If you uh -huh. live like I'm telling you to live, no disease will come upon you. No illnesses will come upon you. Y'all don't believe that tonight. Oh, my. And if they do, you have the power to rebuke them and to cast them out and cause them to flee. Cause him to flee. Read on. What does he say? Which I have brought upon the Egyptians. Now, now you remember God sent 10 plagues on yes, the Egyptians. He yes, he did. He sent 10 plagues on the Egyptians. And, and it's so interesting that you need to remember because the Egyptians, the Jewish people rather, were still there in bondage in Egypt under the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. But those 10 plagues that hit Egypt. None of those plagues affected the children of Israel. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't. He said, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. For I am the Lord your God that healeth thee. That healeth thee. God yes. declared to the children of Israel right there that he was their Jehovah Rapha. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rapha, R-O-P-H-E, Jehovah Rapha. You know what that means? The God that healeth thee. The God that healeth. <laughs> I the hear God it. that healeth thee. Yes. We've got a healer. We serve a healer. Oh, bless the name of our God. And I'm telling you, if you can believe. Yes. Rapha, I'm sorry. Did I misspell it, Pastor? R-A-P-H-A. R-A-P-H-A. I misspelled it. R-A-P-H-A. But I'm telling you, if you can believe, I don't care what the sickness is, God can touch Come your on. body right Come now. On. Come on here. My God. Right where you're listening, right where you're sitting, listening to this broadcast tonight. Right where you're sitting, watching this broadcast tonight. Oh, I feel the virtue of healing. Oh, Shonda, I feel a healing virtue oh, going out from me right now across the airway, across the, hallelujah, across the phone line. Somebody's getting healed right now. Oh, Jesus. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mother Petway, if you're listening tonight, glory, I hear God glory. say he's touching your stomach right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, your food, Jesus. Hallelujah, is going to stay down. Kalina Patterson, your food Hallelujah. is going to stay Hallelujah. down. That, oh, that mass that they are saying is by your heart. Jesus. God is going to dry it up. Crystal Jones, I speak to you now in the name of Jesus. Name of you be Jesus. healed, delivered, and be set free, Crystal. In Jesus oh, name. Jesus. Jesus. In the name hallelujah, of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I tell you to yes, praise him now. Just stop what you're doing and give God a praise right there. Hallelujah. Watch this. Watch Woo. this. He declares to them, he says that he is the God that healeth thee. He shall hey, He's your Lord. healer. My God, he's, he's not just your savior, but my God, he's your healer. Look at, Psalm, look at Psalms 103. Look at Psalm 103 
verse 2 and verse number 3. I see somebody dancing. Oh, hallelujah. They're dancing on the face of the Who is that posted that preacher? Somebody shouting. Hallelujah. Sister Ann Cisco. Uh -huh. Yes, God. Get Psalms 103. Turn there real quick. Psalms 103. Mm -hmm. I now, have it. Verses 2 and verse 3. Read that. What does that say? Bless the Lord, O my soul. Yes. And forget, forget not all his benefits. Yes. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, uh -huh. who healeth all thy diseases. He healeth all of your diseases. Watch this. If you can have it, God can heal it. <laughs> I just want diabetes to know this. If you can bye have bye. it, <laughs> if you can have it, oh, my bye -bye. God can heal it. it. Say bye-bye to whatever it is. Bye-bye, oh, high blood. Thank you. Bye-bye, cancer. Bye-bye, whatever it is. Tell it bye-bye. If you can oh, have it, shake if you can have shot. it, God can uh -huh. heal it. Baby Elena, he's uh, a healer. Be he's healed. a healer. Be healed. He's a healer. Now, oh, now, oh, now watch this. Watch this. I want you to get something. Because you need to understand that sickness is not of God. Mm -hmm. Sickness is a work of the enemy, a work of the devil. God, don't use sickness. Don't let anybody fool you and make you think. Sickness is not of God. Sickness is of the enemy. Sickness is of the devil. My, my, my. Go to uh, uh, 1 John. Look at 1 John chapter 3 and verse number 8. I want you to read this. See this with me tonight. 1 John chapter 3 and verse number 8. Pastor, you have that? Uh, 3 and 8. Three I and have eight. It. What does that say? He that committed sin is of the devil. Uh -huh. For the devil sinned from the beginning. From the very beginning. Read. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested uh -huh. that he might destroy the works of... Wait a minute. Of, Wait a minute. The Son of God was manifested, manifested that he might do what? Destroy the destroy works of the devil. Destroy the works of the devil. And sickness is one of the works of the devil. I told somebody today, I said, the devil may have knocked me down mm, on that ground and mm, meant it for my bad. Mm, but God mm. is about to turn it. Y'all better come on and act like you know the scripture. <laughs> oh. God is going to turn it around for my good. I feel so good in my spirit right yeah, now. Yeah, thank you, I'm Jesus. encouraged and I believe God is going to do it for you, 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 and you. For this cause was the son of God manifested manifested that he might destroy the works that he might destroy God, the God, works God. of, of the, the devil. devil so my friend believers those of us that are in Christ we have power, power over sin power power praise God we don't have to accept it mm -mm. Amen. We we and I want to say this too. There's nothing wrong with you going to the doctor. There's nothing wrong with you going to get your your That's physical right. and, and making right. sure that you're good and getting yourself checked out and taking your medication and doing what the doctor told you. But I want you to know that God has the last say. Oh my God! Praise yes, the Lord. He does. God has the last has say. The last say. He's a healer. <laughs> God is the healer. <laughs> He'll, it's, it, listen, he'll utilize the doctor to help your healing manifest. <laughs> yes, he but will. ultimately, the healing comes from God. Absolutely. He said, for this cause was the this Son cause. of God manifested. That he might destroy, not just sin, mm -mm. but that he might destroy the works. the works of the devil. That he might destroy sickness. Yes, God. So God has equipped us, empowered us with power to overcome sickness. Now, if you don't believe me, look at Mark chapter 16. Look at Mark chapter 16, verses 16 through verses 18. And I'm telling you, I want you to know, Pastor, while I was changing those dressings, I'm telling you, I was praying, 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 praying. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I would get the oil and anoint my, look, I would anoint my hands before I'd even begin to, That's right. to undress your dressing and put my gloves over. I would anoint my hands. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, God is a healer. Yes, he is. Look at Mark 16. And he's given us power over sickness. Power, power. Mark 16, verse 16 through 18. Read that. What does that say? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth 
And, and if he is baptized, uh -huh, shall be saved. Shall be saved. Read on. But he that believeth not he shall that be believeth damned. He that believeth not shall be what? Damned. Shall be damned. All right, read on. And these signs. Now, this is to those that are <laughs> believers. The ones that have been baptized and that believe. <laughs> ah. He said, these signs shall follow them yeah, that, that, want, that, that believe. believe. In my name. In whose name? In Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Oh, there oh, you go. Read on, on, read on. Shall they cast out demons? You'll cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. You'll speak with new and when he talked about new tongues, let me make it clear. He talking about that tongue that come, amen, from the utterance of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> you'll Glory. speak with new tongue. You'll uh -huh. speak in another tongue as the Spirit of God give you the utterance. You'll speak in new tongues. Read on. They shall take up serpents. If you take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not drink, hurt them. If you drink any deadly thing, it ain't going to hurt you. Anybody uh, try to poison you, guess what? It ain't going to work. Somebody ought to type that in and say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. <laughs> Praise the name of our God. Read on, read on, read on. If you eat, drink any deadly thing, it won't hurt you. Uh-huh. They shall lay hands on the sick. That's what I wanted you to get to. you got power, believers. I'm not that Hear me tonight. To do what? To lay hands, hands on, on the, the sick. sick. And what will happen? And they shall recover. And the sick shall recover. Hear me good. you got power to lay hands on the sick. And cause sickness to leave out of the individual's body if you are a born again believer. Wow. Praise the name of our God. Praise mm. his name. We yes, got, God. We have power, power over sickness. Power. Now, now, now get this. Get this. My time is getting away from me. The key to healing, the whole key to it, Pastor, is you got to have faith. Got to have faith. You got to have faith. You got to have faith and believe that God is able to heal. No matter how bad the situation may look, no matter how negative the doctor report may be, you have got to have faith to believe and know that God is able to heal. Yes, he is. You got to believe that. You have to believe it. You can't doubt. You cannot doubt. Let me tell you something. Doubt will hinder healing in your life every time. It you tie God's hands when you doubt. You saying God can't do it. Oh, come on here now. And you know what? Let me say this. A lot of times when you believe in God for healing and you're going through as Minister Don't Melton, God bless you. I want you to know, Minister Melton, I just got up off my knees before hey. the broadcast started. Before the broadcast started, I got up off my knees calling your sister's name in prayer. I want to say this, a lot of times when you believe in God for healing, sometimes it may seem like you get worse before you get better. Oh, my God. Ooh. Hallelujah. My sometimes, Lord. Sometimes the symptoms might seem like they're getting worse before they get better. But you still claim that healing. Even though the symptom is still there, you claim the healing and you healed and you just waiting on the symptoms to go away. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Run, Sister Renee. She said she feel like running. <laughs> I feel I feel like shouting tonight. I'm telling you, if if you could have only seen, Pastor, uh, or dealt with what we what me and you've been dealing with for the past couple of weeks, and now to see you tonight looking the way you're looking and feeling the way you're feeling, I know I feel like Cece, uh, 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 Celie on the color of purple. She said. Uh, was that silly? No, that was Oprah. She said, I knows that there is God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, she said, Jesus. I knows that there is a God. Yes, yes. And he is a healer. But you got to have faith. You got to have faith. Doubt will hinder the healing yes, process. Will. Yes, it will. And the devil will come in because, you know, let me, and, and, and I, I'm, I, I hope you don't mind me saying this. But I'm going to say it anyway, because the Bible says that's how we overcome. We overcome. By the word of our testimony, mm -hmm. right? That's right. There were a couple of times, you know, that devil be talking to your mind. Oh, Lord, she's something going to happen. She ain't going to mm -hmm. make it. Did you feel like that? Oh, you know, oh my God. Is this I mean, you know, the, the devil will have things. The devil will say that. To talk and to and you. the day that I went in the hospital is interesting. Um, I got word that Lauren 
cried and cried when she found out that they uh, were doing surgery. And you know what she said? She said, what are we, what are me and God daddy going to do without God, mommy? <laughs> I'm like, Lord, don't put me in the grave yet, sugar. <laughs> but you know and the they devil. encouraged her and said, God, God, mommy ain't going nowhere. They you know, the devil, a river. The devil will tell you that kind of stuff. Yes, he will. The devil will don't talk let, to you. Don't let nobody don't you fool listen, you. Don't you listen to that. I, I'm going to be real. Don't you listen to that, cause the, and don't feel, you know, cause, cause the devil tell you that that stuff comes to your wrong. mind, just, that something is wrong. That's just a trick of the enemy. Yes, it is. He will talk that garbage to you. He mm -hmm. will. He'll sit right in your ear and talk that garbage to you and tell you, oh, this is it. They're going to die. They ain't going to make it. I mean, because listen, when you went to the hospital on that Friday, you said, I'm going up here to the hospital. And uh, I'll call you. I'll call you when I, when I you know, come back and pick me up. You we you were going just for an X-ray, and, and literally two hours later, you called me talking about they getting ready to do an emergency surgery. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Y'all listening to me? What happened? You just went for an X-ray, and here you calling <laughs> me back talking about now they rushing you in for an emergency surgery, and automatically that devil starts talking. Start talking. But I want you to know tonight that Anna, the devil is a liar. Evangelist Johnson just said me? it. I said the devil He's is a liar. A liar. Mm. You believe me tonight. God is a healer. And sometime before it gets better, it might get worse. But you stand on what you know about stand the word it, of God stand and stand on your faith. Look at St. Oh, Mark. Go to St. Mark. Chapter number six. I want you to look at chapter six. We're going to read verses four and six. Of the book of St. Mark. Look at number four. What does number four say? Read this. Read but it. Jesus said unto them, uh -huh. a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country. Now, Jesus is gone. By this time, he's back in his own country, somewhere around Nazareth. Mm -hmm. and, and he's in his homeland, his, mm -hmm. his, his country. The, the scriptures say he's among his kin folk. He's among his kin and in his own house. And in his own house, in his own neighborhood, in his own area. Mm -hmm. What does the next verse say? And he could there do no mighty work. He, now, now watch this. Jesus' ability to do mighty works and to heal and to do miracles was limited. Was limited. Why? Save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk a and few healed sick them. Folks and, healed him. Uh -huh. and he marveled because of their unbelief. Because of the people's unbelief. unbelief. Doubt will cause miracles and the miraculous and healing to, to forfeit your life every time. Now you said something that I loved earlier. You said this. You said when you're sick, when you're going through, when you're dealing with things, you need people around you that have faith. People that have faith that are speaking positive, speaking scriptures and encouraging. That ain't that ain't talking doubt and defeat. Girl, and, what you gonna and, do and if you wanna give up? And, who gonna take care of this when you're gone? I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, you need folk around you that's gonna talk faith. <laughs> And believe Ooh. God, that, and, and people that ain't gonna fall apart. And, you know what? I, and I knew when you were dealing with what you were dealing with. I said, Lord, it ain't it ain't the time for me not to fall apart. I got to be strong. You needed and to see. You, were. you needed to see I my faith. <laughs> Amen. I saw strength. You needed to see me strong. You didn't need to see me in that crying, talking about, Oh Lord, what we gonna do? Oh God, what? Well, listen, those people. Yeah. That were around Jesus because of their unbelief mm -hmm. hindered him from doing miracles. The Bible said he laid hands on a few sick folks. On a few sick folks and, and healed, healed them. They got healed. But, but he marveled. But guess what? If those people had had faith, he could have done more miracles and more people could have got healed. You know what that tells me right there? That your unbelief will hinder and forfeit mm -hmm. the blessings and the miracles and the faith that God wants to bring in your life just because of doubting. My Lord. Or better yet, hanging around doubters. Hanging around doubters. Folk always talking down. Hanging around doubters. I can't do it. You ever seen people when they're going through, they're just so full of doubt. They're so full of of, 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 of complacency. They just down. They just, you know, some of my Christians and believers, and you want to say to them, where is your faith? Where's your faith? And there are times, like you said, 
when we may get there, but look, Donnie McClurkin said, just get on back up. Don't stay there. Don't stay in that place. See, that's when the devil, when the devil will defeat. work with you. He will hit here because you're very vulnerable. In a state like that. And that's exactly what the devil likes. Don't he loves it. your vulnerability. Get Look. Slap him on both sides of his face. And tell him to go take a time out in the corner. Because <laughs> your faith. Is getting ready to supersede. Any negative. Any negative Supersede statement. whatever you're dealing Anything, with. Anything. Whatever you're dealing with. Whatever you're facing. Whatever challenges you yeah. have. You got to have that faith. In faith. the power and in the ability of God. Hear me tonight. God is a healer. I Look at St. John it. chapter 14. You got to believe though. You got to have faith. You got to believe it. Mm -hmm. You got to believe it even if you cannot see it. You got to believe it even if it seems like it's not happening. Mm. Look at St. John chapter 14. Let's look at uh, 11 verse 11. Get, get that for me. 11 mm -hmm. verse 11 through 14. All right. Read that for me. What does it say? Believe me that I am in the Father uh -huh. and the Father in me. Yes. Or else believe me for the very works sake. Yes. Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. he that believeth on he me. That, he that believeth. Now, this is Jesus. Yes. Talking. Yes. He that believeth on me mm -hmm. as Jesus. What does he say? The works that I do. And the works that I do. Shall he do also. You'll be able to do them also. And greater works uh -huh. than these shall he do. You'll be able to do greater works. Read. Because I go unto my father. Read on. And whatsoever now, he... Now, now, listen, 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 Ooh, listen. Y'all, I want you all to read. Listen, don't do this. I want y'all to get you a pen. Oh, God. And I want you to underline that verse in your Bible. I want you to underline that verse in your Bible. Pastor, I want you to start reading that again. Verse 13. Start right there and read it slow. And what? And whatsoever, whatsoever ye shall ask uh -huh. in my name. In whose name? Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That will I do. That will I do. You know what? I was going through something one time. It's getting deep. <laughs> I was going through something one time. <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, every time I thought about the situation, I just kept saying, I just kept saying to myself, Whatever I ask in Jesus' name, he Whatever. said that he will do. That he would do. Whatever I ask in Jesus' name, he said that he mm -hmm. would do. And he'll do it because the latter part says that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And read verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my if name. If ye shall ask what? Anything in my name. Some things. Anything. Lord, some things. Any, all things, so, anything. So that means if I ask him in Jesus' name to heal my diabetes, what? He said, I would do it. If I ask him in Jesus' name to heal my cancer, I he said, I'll God. do what? He said, I would do it. If I ask him in Jesus' name to let that blood pressure come down, he, he said, what? He said, I would do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I feel like preaching now. Well, you go ahead and preach. He said, if you ask it in Jesus' name and you believe it, don't doubt, yes, don't doubt, yes. but believe it, he said that he will do it. He's going to do it. But you got to believe. Get ready. You got to believe. Get ready. Praise God. I got to go. Our time is getting away from us, but I got two more, just two more points I want to share with you tonight. Watch this, Pastor. Not only does God want you healed and well physically, but the Lord wants to heal you mentally, emotionally. Uh oh. <laughs> financially. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, bless his name. Can I tell you something? God wants to heal you. I love this. Everywhere you hurt. Everywhere you hurt. God wants you to be healed. I want you to receive that tonight. God wants to heal you everywhere Every. you hurt. Mentally, Every. physically, financially, Every. emotionally, Every. whatever it is you are dealing with that's causing pain in your life, God wants you to be healed. Come on now. Yes, he does. Yes, yes, yes. Third John, third John. Third John chapter one. 
Third John chapter one. One verse of scripture in third John chapter one. Verse number two. Oh yes. What, what does that say? Read. Beloved. Beloved. I wish above all things. Now, now the writer, the writer <laughs> here, John said, "I wish." Uh, he, he, he's speaking uh, uh, from the articles of the Holy Ghost. He's being inspired by God to to speak this, to write this. So, so can I say he's speaking on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. And he's saying, "Beloved, above all, things, I wish above all things that uh, thou mayest." Prosper? Listen, he said that you may prosper. Mm -hmm. That you may prosper. Yes. God wants you to be prosperous. He wants you to be blessed. Come on. He wants you to have things. He wants you to enjoy life. He doesn't want you walking around broke. He doesn't want you walking around, amen, uh, the, the tail and not. He wants you to be the head and not the That's tail. That's it. That's it. He says, beloved, I wish above all things that you may what? Prosper. Prosper, uh-huh. And be in health. And be in health. 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 Not just physical health. <laughs> Mental health. Mental health. Yes. Financially Emotional health. health. Emotional. Mm-hmm. Praise God. He wants you to be in health. He wants you to be prosperous. He wants you to be in good health. Let me tell you, I say this all the time. It wouldn't make sense to have a million dollars and I'm too sick to spend it, would it? Not at all. It There's help. only so much you can have sent to the house from Amazon, but still can't do nothing with it. What good is it going to do me if I got a million dollars, but I'm too sick to even enjoy it? Can't get up. Can't go anywhere. Can't get up and go enjoy it. Can't get up and go uh, go out to dinner. Can't get up and go buy a nice uh, a suit. Or, uh, can't uh, fly to the sunny part of the listen, country. Listen, God wants you to be prosperous. He wants you to be healthy. He wants you to be well. Yes. And then he doesn't stop there, but read on. What else does he say? Even as thy soul now he said, he said, And then he wants you to have a, a solid relationship with him. Uh-huh. A prosperous relationship with him. In other words, don't get so caught up on the stuff, the miracles, the blessings, that you don't forget about your relationship with him. Can I tell you all something? You talk about living the abundant life, that's the abundant that's life it. right there. Right there. Right there. Praise God. I'm telling you, if, if we can elevate our faith to tap into that, to tap into that uh, uh, being prosperous, being, prosperous, being, being good in good health, health and, and having soul. a prosperous relationship with the Lord, a good, solid relationship with the Lord, what else is there? Wow. The writer starts off by saying, Beloved, I wish above all things above all that you will prosper, that you'll be in good health, and that you will be prosperous in, in your, your relationship yes, with the Lord. Yes, that yes. you'll thrive in your relationship with God. Mm. That's the abundant life. That's the abundant life. And that's what God desires for the believer. Hear me tonight. That's what God desires for you. And if you're not having that tonight, if you're not receiving that tonight, then you are living under your privilege. Yes, you are. You're living beneath your privilege. You got to make a demand on God. That's it. Amen. That's right. Call him to his word. Call him. When the devil start trying to wreak havoc and sickness in your life, you start declaring, oh, Jesus, you said by your stripes Come I'm on. healed. Come on. I'm not going to accept this healing. When your finances start trying to act like they uh, falling in all around you, you can't make ends meet, you're living from paycheck to paycheck, guess what? You start declaring, Lord Jesus, you said that the cattle on a thousand hills belong it. to you, and because I'm your child, I have access. Declare it. Declare what God I'm said about you. you. Speak it. Speak it. Speak I your healing. I will not be sick. I will not Come be on. sick. Mm, I'm not receiving I it. I will not be sick. You told me what it is. Now God is going to do something about it. I love what you said, Pastor. You, you, you said, I'm not receiving that I'm going to have to be on insulin That's for right. the rest of my life. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Not at all. We're not receiving it. Mm -mm. We, were, we were talking to, to one preacher, and, and, and that pastor said, we're we going to give it a time limit. You remember that? Yes. That preacher that agreed with us in prayer, mm -hmm. she said, we're going to give that thing a time limit in that's six months. Said. We believe six months. We're going to give said. it a six months, and God is going to completely deliver you. 
That was, think that was Bishop Vaughn. That was Bishop Coletta Vaughn spoke that she in spoke your life. It. Yes, she did. She said, Pastor Butts, in six months, we give it a six-month time period, and we believe in God that you're going to come off that insulin. Y'all better believe it now. You can believe with me now or wait to see it, because <laughs> I'm going to live to see Oh, I'm gonna live to see You're it happen. Live to see it happen. Oh, I got too much work to do. Listen, I hope tonight we got. Oh, Jesus. We got about five minutes left. That's I, all I've, right. I've shared just about everything that I want to share with you, but but before I go tonight, I want to pray. Mm -hmm. I, I want to pray tonight. I yes. want to pray. I I want to encourage your faith tonight. Those of you that are watching. Those of you that are listening, those of you that are dealing with any type of sickness in your body, if you're dealing with any type of emotional uh, unbalance, any type of 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 of, of in, uh, uh, any type of unbalance in your life, emotional, physically, mentally, whatever it is, I want to pray for you tonight that the word of God that have gone through. Oh, yes that have gone forth tonight is going to penetrate your life and you're going to get up from where you are and you're going to be healed. And guess what? Not only do we want you healed, but pastor, we want you to be made whole. Oh, that's exactly what I said on that bed. I said, I don't want to just be healed. God, make me whole. Like it never even happened. In every area of my life. I want him to make me whole. Like like you never even endured. Never been like look, sick. like like the fall never even happened. <laughs> fall? What fall? <laughs> like the surgery never even took place. I tell you. God oh, is a Lord. God is God is gonna mend some of you yeah. all's broken hearts. He gonna he's gonna dry up scars that you got. He's gonna do it. From the past, your past hurts or your your past ailments or illnesses. I'm telling you, I'm looking for God to do some miraculous thing. I, listen, I wouldn't serve a God that couldn't heal me when I'm hurting. I'm telling you, wouldn't do it. He wouldn't be of any use to me if he couldn't heal me when I'm hurting. I, I think of the, the, they often talk about the, the, the Buddhists that serve Buddha. <laughs> and they have to carry Buddha around. Every now and then they got to paint him. He get a little uh, rusted or tarnished. They got to paint him. If anything happened while they carrying him from one worship place to another, they got to repair him. Well, the funny thing about it is I that it's a whole a lot like of them that. little Buddha things everywhere. <laughs> whole lot of them. You can go to a certain store and buy you a little Buddha. That's mm -hmm. not God. That's not a I wouldn't God. serve a God that I had to carry, that I had to repair. Wouldn't do it. I need somebody that I had to fix. carry me, fix me, lift me up, pick me up. Woo. That's what I need of God. The God that we serve tonight, I want y'all to hear me. He's more yes, than, somebody yes. type that in and say he's more than able. I tell you like, I tell you like my grandfather used to say, my grandfather say he's a doctor in the sick room. My Lord. Lawyer in the courtroom. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, that's it. God is a healer. Lord, do it. Come on, we're we going to pray. We're going to pray. I feel, I feel like praying tonight. Pray. Come pray. on, I want those of you that are watching, stretch your hand toward your, your screen, your cell phone, your, your laptop, whatever. You. Those of you that are listening by way of the conference line, stretch your hand toward the phone oh, and whatever it is you're God dealing with tonight. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing. Yes. Healing is your portion. In, your name, oh God, we thank in the you. name of Jesus. Father, Jesus, tonight, Father God, Lord, I thank you for everyone that's thank listening and viewing this broadcast Hallelujah. tonight. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Father, I rebuke sickness. Right now. I rebuke death. Lord, I rebuke every attack of the Hallelujah. enemy that's trying to go forth on the life of your saints. Oh God. In the name of in Jesus. Your name, Jesus. Father, I want you to equip their faith to believe you like Thank never before. You, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, Lord, let your healing virtue flow. Right now, in the name of Jesus, my brother, Reverend Kenny, Jesus. Ken Johnson, right yes, now, Lord. senior, Touch him, oh I God. speak healing in your body in, your in the name, name of God. Jesus. We know you're able. Lord, we know you're able to Lord, do it right now. Name, God, I thank you for those that are watching. Hallelujah. I thank you for the prayer requests yes, that have gone forth. Minister Don Milton, right now, I speak ah, yeah, strength about, 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 in your about, life. Your course, Hallelujah God. to deal with what you're thank dealing you, with with your sister. In the name of Jesus, God, I ask you to touch. 
Thank you, I took, ask you to heal, and I ask you to deliver. Jesus, Lord, Jesus. do what only you can only do. Only you can do, God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And God, I believe it done. I believe it done. Jesus. I believe it done tonight. It is done. It, it is, is so. Done. Touch co-pastor. Touch, oh God. Continue to heal her, Lord. Make yes, her whole Lord. in the name of Jesus. Now, oh God, we believe Carrie you, Harris, I speak healing I'm to your body. In the name of Jesus. Lord. To your husband's body, I speak healing tonight. Thank you, Lord. In the Thank name you. of to Jesus. To every bereaved family. Every bereaved family. We know Mother that you Pinkett, able to heal. Heal their hearts, Lord. Glory. The Fuller family. I show no, 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 Davis family. Touch, Lord. Oh, God. The Hall family, Touch, God. Lord. You know. Hey, Shanda Dabase. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, and God, glory. We thank you for Terry it. family, God. Touch now. Fever family. Touch now. Thank you, Lord oh, Jesus. Shanda Dabase. Oh, we know you able. Oh, Hallelujah. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Glory to In your name, Jesus. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. Say, Lucia Ho. Lucia Ho. Hallelujah. The blood is against you today. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus. It Touch is, Mother so. Petway right now, Touch God. That God. stomach, that Digestive yes. system. Oh, Mother Louise, oh yes. God, Mother Simmons. Give him strength, Touch, oh God. give us strength, God. Glory. In the name of Jesus. And thank Father, we're going to thank you. We believe it done. We call it done tonight. Jesus. We call it done. Call it done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' thank name. God. Oh, Amen. God. I and feel Amen. <laughs> I tell you. Oh, shout out. He's more than able. Woo. Hallelujah. Jesus. God is so good tonight. He's so good. Listen, if you're viewing this telecast tonight, you're not saved, you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ in the part Thank of your you sins, Lord. right where you are tonight, where you're listening, where you're viewing, accept him as your Lord and Savior. Yes, Lord. Acknowledge that you are a sinner in need of God's saving grace. And right where you stand, he'll come into your life. He'll begin the process of salvation. Thank All you. you've got to do is confess, acknowledge and believe. And then don't stop there. Don't stop there, but go on and get baptized if you've never been baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and allow the Lord to fill you with the precious baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God give the utterance. If you confuse or you don't understand everything that I'm talking about as it pertains to salvation, I want you to call our church office at area code 586 Four two seven four eight seven five. Leave your name and your number, and I guarantee you that somebody will call you back and help minister to you the totality of what Thank the Lord has Jesus. in store for you as it pertains to salvation. All right, this is a part of the service that we can all play a part of now. All right, it's giving time. I want you to stay excited, Amen, about giving. I want you to stay excited about sowing seed into the work of the Lord. Listen. Yes. If you sow, I believe if you sow into this anointed word that went forth tonight, mm -hmm. oh my oh God, God. You, listen, you can't go wrong if you sow into this anointing tonight, because there is an anointing that's flowing through yes. your airway, those of you that are watching, there's an anointing flowing through the telephone line, I'm telling you, you can't watch this broadcast, so listen, have been listening to this broadcast tonight and not feel the presence of the power of God. Oh my. There's no way. No way. If you didn't feel something tonight, it's because you don't have anything. <laughs> oh, Jesus. If you don't feel something tonight, it's because you ain't I'm got nothing. You, that was Sunday. I found Sunday, I said, ooh, anybody in this building, you have to feel You've something. you got to feel There's something. There's no way. I want you to sow tonight. I want everybody watching tonight. There's some of you that watch on a regular basis, but you don't give on Wednesday nights. There's some that may be listening. I want everybody that's watching. I'm, all I'm going to ask you to do tonight is to sow a ten dollar seed. All of you that are, I see you, I see you on the, on Facebook. I want you to sow when I when we turn off uh, the the camera tonight. I want to see the the Facebook those viewers. I want to see Cash App lit up, lit up with those of you that are so into this work of the Lord tonight. God blesses the cheerful giver. When you sow seed into the anointing, you yes. can look for a result. You can look for something to happen. You can That's, expect you God. Can expect you it. can expect Excuse God me. to do something. All right? Pastor, tell them how they can sow. Listen, you can sow through our cash app, which is dollar sign P-O-F-M-I-C. Through our cash app, P-O-F-M-I-N-I-N-T at gmail.com. You can mail it to the church, Power of Faith, 24502 
Campbell, Hallelujah. Warren, Michigan, 48089. Or if you're paying by credit, by debit, or Zelle, the number is 313-574-3661. Now you ask for so, 10, but I'm throwing 100. That's just what I feel. I'm throwing 100. Thank you, Jesus. Because I need God. And somebody say, oh, you know, this, that, other, about money. I'm throwing $100 because that's what God told me to do. Amen. Amen. If you want to follow with me. God bless your heart or whatever God puts in your heart. But Bishop is asked for 10. $10. I'm doing 10 times 10. 10 times I 10. Need, I need a double, triple, <laughs> quadruple blessing. Everybody watching. And I thank God. How about that? So into the work of the Lord. I'm too. living to see this thing happen. So into the word of God tonight. I promise you, you're going to see some result happen in your life. We've got to go. We'll be back Sunday. We'll be back Sunday. 11 a.m. on yes. Facebook and live on the conference live. Listen real soon. We're gonna be coming on your coming on your way YouTube. on YouTube. I'm excited. We're excited about that. Yes. We're excited about that. Listen, we've got to go. We've got to go. We gotta go. We're out of time, but we're certainly not out of word. <laughs> but we gotta go. We love you. We'll be back real soon. Ladies, tomorrow night at seven on the conference line. Amen. Sunday at eleven. Meet us. Meet us there. Oh, you ain't going to die. Listen, is that my song? <laughs> yes. You shall live. You ain't going to die. You shall live, live, live. You ain't, ain't going to die. die. You shall live, live. We got to go. Woo! Somebody's as, back chat, get up and shout for me. You know I can't. <laughs> as we always say, <laughs> go, go with, with God, God and, and God, God will, will go, go with, with you. you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.